Part of its 175th anniversary, the Wisconsin Historical Society is celebrating Wisconsin's visionaries, change makers, and storytellers. One of those visionaries that we should all know more about is Tony Wise. The tourism industry of northern Wisconsin would not be what it is today without Tony Wise. Nick Hoffman is the administrator of the Museum and Historic Sites at the Wisconsin Historical Society. Nick, welcome to Live Before. Good Hi, to see Nick. you again. Good to see you. Hi, good afternoon. Uh, great to be here. So tell us, who is this guy, Tony Wise? Well, Tony Wise, um, I think a lot of people might be familiar with one of the big events that he created in northern Wisconsin, the Berkey, uh, the Berkey Biner. Um, he was a lover of outdoor recreation, um, and he really wanted to bring uh, a lot of tourism to his home communities of Hayward and Cable. So he was a cross-country skier himself, I understand. How did he come up with the name for this? Where does Berkebeiner well, uh, come from? It comes from Norway, and it actually goes back to 1206, the Norwegian Civil War. And since that event, there's been many different variations of this, uh, of celebrating this tradition of cross-country skiing uh, during the war. But he really became interested in skiing when he was a veteran uh, in World War II. Um, he served in Germany, and he came across the 1936 Olympic site in Germany, and he noticed that there were a lot of different resorts in that part of, part of Germany, and he came up with the idea that when he returned back from, from the war, he was going to start a lodge uh, for skiing in his hometown. So he created the Telemark Lodge and Ski Resort. Um, Tony was really a remarkable PR person, um, and so he knew that he had to have a lot of big events to bring people to visit his resort uh, from all over uh, the Midwest. And so that's when he started creating some really big events. Uh, in 1960, he, he created the World Lumberjack Championship. But it was in 1973 um, that he started the Berkey uh, Championships. And what impact has the Berkey had on Wisconsin? Oh, it's really been enormous. And I think that's something to, to really remember about Tony is that he created the event not just to bring all these major international competitors um, to Hayward and Cable each winter, but he wanted to make the sport accessible to everybody. He really believed in outdoor recreation as being a really key element to the future of tourism in northern Wisconsin. Um, so today, the Berkey is not just about cross-country skiing and for professionals, um, it's for everybody. They have eight Age groups of all different um, levels that compete in the sport and he keeps widening it to uh, winter cycling and running so he's really about uh, people celebrating that outdoor recreation in all seasons in northern Wisconsin it's the largest cross-country ski race in North America isn't that right yeah, absolutely. I mean, it really is enormous. There's uh, over 10,000 competitors each year and nearly double that of people coming to, to watch as spectators. So it really is just a massive event for, for that part of the state. Now, Tony's just one of the people the Wisconsin Historical Society is highlighting with the 175 campaign. Where can people find more information about all this? Uh, we are right now, we're starting with 36 biographies that we're highlighting from those visionary change makers and storytellers. But people are encouraged to go to wisconsinhistory.org. Um, they should visit often because we keep adding more and more stories. And really, this is about widening history. There's a lot of names that you might recognize, like Tony Wise, but there are many others that we keep bringing forward. We're telling um, new stories about some of the stories that you may really well know in state history, but hopefully will also surprise you along the way way. I love surprises. I love history. I love Wisconsin. Oh, they're, so great, they're all great place fascinating to go. stories. Nick, great to see you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, always great. Uh,